Washington County, Vermont, cities like Barrie and Montpelier continue to recover from July. Some businesses in those areas are only now starting to reopen. But there is a big question for these communities. What is the state doing that could prevent similar flooding in the future? NBC 5 Stephen Biddix is live in Montpelier tonight. Stephen, what did the governor have to say at his news conference this morning? Yes, that's right, Brian and Alex. That is the question. And Governor Scott says right now there is no quick fix or immediate solution to prevent a similar style event from happening in the future. He says it's going to take some time for him and his administration to weigh their options and then pick the best one going forward. Scott says if you look at some of the hardest hit areas like Barrie, Montpelier and Waterbury, they all are a part of the same water system and have the Winooski River flowing through. He and state hydrologists are looking for ways to store water along the river corridor because not having a place for the water to go is one of the main reasons these Washington County communities flooded. Scott says flooding in some of these areas have become all too familiar to residents now with inches of standing water on the ground just from this morning's storms. He compares all of this to putting together a difficult puzzle. It's a math problem and, um, and a hydrologist knows this very well. And there's a lot of tributaries that come in uh, to, the, to the main main rivers like the Winooski and so forth. So it's a, it's a giant puzzle, but, um, but it's solvable. It's just going to take a lot of work, a lot of money um, and some time. And as cleanups continue for these areas, Wheels for Warmth will be collecting flood tires this Saturday at the Granite Museum in Barrie to dispose of them. Now the event is strictly for flood tires and not normal use. The standard Wheels for Warmth event will still take place later in the fall. And many state buildings in Montpelier are also still in the recovery process, such as the pavilion right behind me, which is actually where the governor works and has now been displaced himself for a couple months. Scott attributes some of these closures to supply chain issues and others, he says, is just going to take time like many of the other recovery efforts across the state. Live in Montpelier, Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.